welcome to one of the last parts of the castle tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to build the gates, the kind of yeah walkway across the gates, then the beacon on top of the building and then the small addition to the building to the back where the big tower is going to be. In the next part then I'm going to show you how to build the big tower and then there's going to be another small part about the interior. So yeah, let's just get started. So, the very first thing I want to do to make sure that the castle looks right in the end and that you will be able to build it afterwards is that I have to change the the terrain a little bit. So I will basically lower this this layer here by three blocks, I guess, so that I can make a stair up, uh, going up to the gate itself. So I'm going to fast forward that because it's I think it's not really thrilling to w watch me doing that. Okay, that should be enough. So as you can see, I got rid of a little bit of terrain here and I continued building this foundation down here like I showed in the previous videos. Now what you want to do is to take logs and leave one block free from this inner pillar here. Leave one block free and place another one here. So this is going to be uh, the next frame for the gate itself. Now, you want to take... Uh, stone brick half slabs and place them like this and from that point you want to go down some blocks and now simply what you want to do is to make a staircase so what we're going to do is to place them like this always one uh, always half a block lower than before Take a moment. Oh uh, yeah, let's do it like this. And like that. So this is going to be a little bit different than the uh, the castle one, but in this terrain it looks better if you just extend the stair to the sides a little bit. So let's just go ahead and fix oops. Hey. I gotta get used to my new mouse. Um and now you want to take the stone half slabs and place one row of them like this. And for this, for these parts, you want to just do it like that. Place the one in the back and yeah, pretty much replace every block here with a cobblestone block. One there, one there, one there. And then you got to take fences and put in a fence in every one. So that's the stair. Now we want to build the gate itself. So now take logs and place one additional row here and there on the other side. And then you want to go up and make pillars out of these. And you want to go up until you are uh, until those pillars are one block lower than this, so that you have one block between the roof here and the pillars. And then place a log sideways there. Same thing, of course, on this side. Just go up and then log sideways. Then you want to get rid of this one and place three sideways uh, logs so that you have two sticking out from here. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And now the last thing you want to do is to make another row of three blocks up here. Whoops, but sideways. Like this. So these are the frames for the gate itself. Now proceed by taking um, stone bricks, place them like this, and of course one row back here just as well as here. Good. Whoops. Uh. Sorry. Um, and then you want to add another row of stone bricks up here, but not to the to the back side. Then 
take stairs and place them upside down every other block starting with one in the middle and then going to the sides and then all you want you need to do is to take one stone brick and then continue by doing the same pattern we did before on the crenellation like this and that is the gate so or basically it's not the gate itself but the archway so now take a stone brick block and place it here in the corner two more here there and there and then you want to take fences and simply create the gate itself As I s ah, damn it! As I said, I gotta get used to my new mouse. It's unbelievable how big of an impact that can can be. So sorry if the video is a little bit slow at this point. God damn it! Damn it! <laughs> okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, now in the next step we're going to make the bridge here and then the beacon on top of here. So, let's go to this one. For building the walkway, first of all you want to take stone bricks and make another row just like the one here. This is of the length it's supposed to be. Just another row here and what you want to do is to fill in the row back here by using stone bricks as well sticking two blocks more to the outside then put two stairs in front of them and one stair here same thing on the other side one block here and two stairs there and now for the walkway itself first of all take double slabs and fill them in here so that one block to this side, let's get rid of, uh, let's get rid of that block. Uh, so that one block here is left, and then just go down in a kind of stair. Oops. Like that. Fill in another block here, and two more blocks here. Same thing. That. Then you can just continue building the walkway itself like that. Fill in the last block here and there. And to fix up this hole here, you want to place another block there and then a half slab there. So, something here, and there. And that is the walkway. Now let's build the beacon on top of the roof real quick. For that, we want to start at this block. So, it's in the last row, in the last stair row of the roof here. And then two blocks away from here. So, like that. Go up two blocks. One, two. Then leave three blocks free here and place an another two here and there. Now take stone bricks and fill three blocks in. Whoops. Uh, uh, three blocks in the walls here. then stone brick stairs and then it's the, the same pattern like on the towers so two stairs like this having a gap in the in between of them and then it's an upside down stair on top just like here and pretty much do that one time all around the build let me just prepare that real quick okay and one here one there here, one there, 
and one here and one there. So then it's an upside down stair here and a regular one there and just like that to fill in the gaps. Then you want to take two cobblestone blocks and fill them in here. Stone brick again. Just place them on top. Three blocks on each row. Then a stair, a cobblestone stair, placed upside down in the on the middle block of the row. Uh, simply, uh, what what you can do is simply to place two more stone brick blocks on those outer blocks. And then another log here, and this is a little bit of the same um, pattern like on the towers down there. So here it's once again two upside down stone, um, cobblestone stairs to the sides of the log. Like that. Then two regular ones here with a cobblestone block in the middle. Like that, and like that. And like here and there. Then it's an upside down cobblestone stair like here, a regular one on top of this, um, the full block, and then two regular stairs like this. So here, here, there, there, there. Good. Now take logs and place three logs here. And now what you want to do is to take um, stone bricks, fill them in here. Oops. And this is where we are going to make uh, the beacon. So it's four st cobblestone stairs with a cobblestone slab on top and then you can place nether brick here and then you can set it alight and then the last thing we're going to do is to correct the roof here and to take, s to take fences and place one on top here and one down there just like that oops I forgot to fill in Oh, oops, there are some blocks missing here, I don't know why. If they are missing in your build as well, then you should correct it. What the? What the? Okay. Now the last thing we're going to do in this video is to finish off the roof back here to prepare everything for the big tower. So, and now for the last part. First of all, I did a mistake in the previous episode, so what you want to do is to replace this uh, inner row on these pillars with stone brick. And then you want to take logs, make a row like this, place another one here, go up another pillar of logs like that now you want to get rid of that block um, and now go one block back to the inside and then create a doorway like that you can get rid of this one no you can't uh, just take a stair and place it like that um, and now th here it's simply once again the same pattern like we used on the wall and the towers and pretty much <laughs> everything. Whoops. Uh, so let's take cobblestone for the back of this and then create the pattern like that. Back here you want to fill in a stone brick block just to fill in the gap. And here, oops. oh come on, 
Uh, here, you want to once again go one block to the outside and just continue building that. This is going to be one of the first rows for the tower back here. So, once that is done, you want to add three rows of stone brick up here. Continue this one like here. The next thing to do is to take cobblestone slabs and place them here. Those are top slabs, by the way, starting on those uh, on this middle block here at this stair ending up here. Then take wooden stairs and place them up here. Continue building it up until here. Then by placing planks, we are simply covering up those holes up uh, down here. Place another row of planks here and half slabs, well basically up until here. And another row of half slabs and one single half slab to the outside of the stairs. So now for this kind of small outlook up here. First of all make a pillar five blocks high like this. And then now we need to get rid of those two blocks. Add another one here and three up here. And now we're going to make small windows. For that you need to place two stairs like this and then two upside down stairs like that. That you've got that you have uh, half a block of a window. Um, now, first of all, let's now add another row here because I just noti noticed that there is one block. Oops. Uh, we have one row to view. Okay, like that. And now up here, first of all, you want to take um, take stairs again and begin building the roof. First of all, let's just make four rows of it. So, oh come on. As I said, I gotta get used to my mouse. It's horrible. Okay, those are four rows. And now, I'm simply going to time-lapse the other half of the castle thingy here. So one of the last things in this part of the tutorial is going to be to make the transition between those two roof parts and to make the front wall here. So first of all let's make the transition. For that I'm going to start by placing one half slab here. Then here let's go for another um, plank. Another plank here as well. Then a slab here and a slab there and then simply three stairs here. So you can see it's a kind of a, s a switch between the transition. Down here the, the old roof continues and up here the smaller roof continues. So let's do the same thing on this side. A slab, two planks, a slab, Um, that was, wait, yeah, the top slab in this case, and then three stairs like this. So now what I want to do is to use stairs as the uh, roof finish to make it look like, once again, crenellations. I'm going to do the same thing here, only the other way around, like that. And now we gotta do something about this here. And for that, first of all, oops, wrong direction. I'm going to place two stairs like this and two additional ones like that. And 
and then it's a little bit complicated now. Once again we're going to make a, um, a small pattern like we did on this wall, only this time it's not going to be so complex. So up here I simply want to use an upside down stair and here we are going to make the same shape again to kind of make um, um, the staircase itself. So it's going to be like that. So it's an upside down stair here, another one upside down here, a regular one there, and an upside down beneath the other upside down one. And then down here it's simply going to be three um, full blocks like that. So same thing, three here, the rest is going to be stairs, so once again, let's take the, these again, and one here, one there, one there, and another one here. And then let's take logs, place them like this. Well, that is pretty much it, besides, except for take Oh, let's t just take it here. Cobblestone, place three cobblestone blocks here to cover up the holes in the wall and then it is done. Once again now we have a quarter of a block showing here from the roof. Um, it's not too pretty but yeah, we have to deal with it. The last thing, I'm going to fill in some double slabs down here. Once again those two blocks will be shown and replacing them would be a bad idea. In this corner it's it wouldn't be too bad but here you would simply be destroying one of the blocks down here and th this isn't too pretty. So um, this is one disadvantage of this build and basically my building style that sometimes you have you just have to deal with minor things you can't really change or y you could change it but it would take a lot, a lot of effort and it would destroy the looks of the building on another place so in this case down here anyway so let's just do the same thing really quick on the other side three here and one additional one here and the last block here. Now what you want to do for this side here, you can make an entrance to the tower. In that case I would suggest to replace it like this and to leave this half s um, this um, stair up here simply to yeah th this would look I, I think this simply looks too plain so just put it back on. Of course now I have no cobblestone stair. Hot bard. Okay, like this and then you can do some material which I'm going to show you in another video uh, after the final one and yeah, whatsoever. Well, and that was one of the last parts of the castle tutorial. In the next part I'm going to show you how to build a big tower in the back of the castle. And then there's going to be another small video about the interior, or basically how to build a few things of the interior. Not all, basically since I don't really have awesome designs for the whole interior. I'm just going to show you a few things and yeah, whatsoever. So, after Madness 64, and as always, please rate, comment, subscribe, do as you will, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye bye. And as always, I've met I've been Madness 64, and as always, please rate, comment, subscribe, do as you will, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye bye. That was a little bit too fast, I think, at least for my taste. I should probably do it a little bit more slowly. For example, like of been madness sixty four and as always please rate comment subscribe do as you will and I hope
hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye.